So it's come to this. I fast. I take a water fast until I heal or die. Whichever one comes first. Hopefully it's the healing one. So my 97 day water fast has just begun. And let's talk about it. So in my opinion, the fastest way to overcome any disease is going to be a water fast. And I have no experience, like if I'm going to promote this to you guys and say, okay, just go on a water fast, I got to feel what it's like. I don't like people that just know stuff and they have no experience. It's like, tell me what to do. If something goes wrong and I'm like, okay, so you're on day four and you're throwing up beetles like yeah i'd like to know what to do in that situation you eat a cockroach it fights the beetles that would break the fast the longest i've ever water fasted was three days but i'm pretty sure i broke it on the third day probably pretty early i don't even remember so it was like two days full water fasted broke it on the third day that's not a lot and from what I hear it's the first couple days that are just so hard I remember that fast actually and I just felt so terrible I had to break it like I was so nauseous and weak and I'm just like oh my god this sucks and so far I'm on day two now and I don't feel anywhere near as toxic as I felt back then so over the years cleansing my body and eating healthy and bringing in the intermittent fasting, I feel like I'm at a better place. So I can imagine some people struggling with the water fast. You might want to ease into it with some vegan diet and then the raw vegan diet for a bit, cleansing, intermittent fasting. Get your body prepared. Get it used to eliminating crap from your smelly colon. So we're on day two now and it's nighttime. Hopefully I get a good sleep tonight. My first tip before we even get into what's been going on, sleep whenever you feel like it. Because when you're on a water fast, from my experience, you don't always sleep very good at night. So don't be afraid to take a nap whenever you can and just get in as much sleep as possible. If you could sleep for 24 hours a day, and do a 40 hour water fast, induce a coma if you can. That would be the ultimate. We heal when we sleep. So sleeping is key and it's not always easy. I don't know if we just, we don't produce the hormones, the melatonin, something goes haywire in the fasting state and we just don't wanna sleep. So sleep whenever you can, tip number one. So let me tell you why I started this. I just started the Dr. Amon Ra protocol about two weeks ago. I'm not full into, I'm not doing everything he says because I just don't have every supplement that he wants and I haven't finished reading his books, but I've basically employed the same diet, it's rice and beans and veggies pretty much. I'm not using his peanut butter. I'm not doing certain things he does, but for the most part, I felt better than I ever have one meal a day starch based and this is the first time where i'm not exhausted after my one meal on the restaurant cleanse i often got so tired and it might just have been that i was eating too early in the day and then you notice it more but when i break my fast at 4 p.m on this starch based meal i don't really feel a dip in energy sometimes a little bit but I can still concentrate and I can still do my work and I feel like I'm not dead. It's like, no, this is how we should feel after eating. If you're exhausted after your meal, you're either eating something wrong, you're eating too much, or you're eating at the wrong time. There could be some problems there. You shouldn't be tired after your meal. So when I was doing the fruit-based diet the week, two weeks before, I was getting tired so tired after like these watermelon meals i'd eat a watermelon and i'm just exhausted sometimes i fall asleep so that fruit sugar spikes you up and drops you down at least in my body some people can handle it but the slow steady bean 
the bean, my friend Mr. Bean. It's just beans and rice are a slow rise and a slow fall. So it's just, it gives you a steady energy. So I feel like I have the base. I have the base diet. My skin was clearing up. I feel like if I return to the starch based, I will be happy. So now that I have a safe base to return to, I've been drawn to this water fast. I want a water fast as long as possible. I always feel so envious of people that have done like a 40 day fast. I'm like, my God, you must have healed so much in that time or crippled your body forever. But I feel like if I do a decent water fast, any lingering inflammation in my colon, that will disappear. If I have parasites, they will die. They will die a sweet death and scratch me on the way out. That's fine. So Saturday, I had a bunch of coconuts still. So my plan was to just drink coconuts that day and flush out the system. I only had eight coconuts though, and I finished the eight and nothing was flushing out. So I was like, I want to get whatever's in there out. And that's been my whole problem. I have these bowel movements, but they don't feel complete. I feel like something just gives up halfway through and <laughs> my colon gets so tired and it's just like, yeah, we're done here. Sorry about that, guys. We're leaving early. I know you needed this job finished, but you know, we're tired. We want to watch a movie tonight. So we're going to go home. So I decided to get some prunes. I went and got a big 500 gram bag of prunes and my god i ate most of that bag so you can just imagine the nightmares that unfolded after that there were nightmares it was a horror movie and it was happening all night i ate that thing way too late if you take a laxative don't be an idiot do it in the morning then you clear out for a bit and then you can actually sleep without waking up to poo so I cleared out and then the next day I still felt like there was prunes left over in the system and how dare you prunes so I start my water fast with a tablespoon of castor oil and that flushed me right the F out so that's my favorite laxative because it just it flushes you out but it soothes you at the same time it's like this oily healing soothing oil that just heals you as it goes by. So day one, I did that in the morning, tablespoon of castor oil, and then just drinking my Veganite cream of tartar, which is a potassium supplement, and some Himalayan salt. So I didn't add any cayenne pepper and no tea. So it's just water, but electrically charged. So that's what I've been drinking. First day went fine, nothing really noticeable happened. I was a little tired towards the end of the day and I didn't sleep the greatest. I just, I think I kept waking up. So there was that. And then second day, which was today, I was a little nauseous in the morning, but that pretty much died off by the afternoon. And I feel basically just a little tired and weak, but I feel like I can do this. Like it feels sustainable so far. My stomach feels phenomenal. I just, I love that empty feeling. It's so empty. I've never been this empty. It's like there's nothing in there at all. So I like that. Bladder feels good. So that's pretty much it. We're on day two and I just wanna see how far I can go. I really wanna do at least seven days at a minimum, but I would just love it if I could do 21. And if I make it to 21 and I don't feel like I'm about to die, 40 days would be the ultimate goal. So we'll see how far I can make it. I'm gonna listen to my body. If it's really asking me to break it, then I'll break it. Probably with fruit. I'll go get a watermelon or something. I should probably have one on hand in case of emergency, but yeah, I'm doing this unsupervised, so fun times ahead, or I die, either one, it's good times. Still, thumb up the video if you liked it.
How dare you? Thumbs down. If you do 90 day dirt fasts, you eat nothing but dirt, and that cleanses your body. The soil microorganisms kill off the parasites. It's like a war. You got the one organism who's like Braveheart and he directs everybody else and they kill the parasites. Yeah, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So, we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Who am I bowing to? Mm. <laughs>